Marvel just released a Loki teaser, with the amazing Tom Hiddleston, who plays the role of Loki. He was explaining Loki's journey in 30 seconds. But in case you needed a deeper dive into Loki's journey in the MCU. From Tom Hiddleston's first appearance in Thor, all the way to Thor Ragnarok and Infinity War, and then Endgame and Loki, here's a timeline for Loki's journey so far, up to the Disney Plus show. But before we start the video, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Thor, 2011 Although Loki was a villain in the movie, he wasn't portrayed as a jealous sibling straight away. In the first movie, Loki is portrayed to fight alongside Thor and other Asgardians. And while Thor got a thrill running headfirst into battle, Loki was more subdued and preferred to use his intellect and cunningness to win battles. While Thor was exiled due to his arrogance, Loki learned about his history, and how he's a part of the Frost Giant and son of Laufey, and was adopted by Odin. Angered by this, Loki seizes the throne after Odin falls into Odin's sleep, and opens the door for Laufey to kill Odin. However he betrays Laufey, and his greater plan was to prove himself worthy. Thor returns back and stops the destroyer armor, eventually stopping Loki. Avengers, 2012 Loki still wanted to prove himself as a ruler, but more so, he wanted to stick it to his brother for being favored by his father. So he gets the idea to seize Midgard, aka Earth. So for this he needs great power, which he gets from Thanos. He uses the Space Stone and the Tesseract to open portals, and bring Chittery to New York. Finally bringing the Avengers together for the first time, and giving the world its first power team up. Although Loki overestimates his power, Chittery starts to run wild causing havoc in New York. The Avengers finally puts a stop to the invasion by a tactical nuke that Iron Man takes through the portal. While Loki faces justice in Asgard, he fails to see the bigger picture. And in his quest to conquer Midgard, he risks Earth by bringing it in front of Thanos' eyes. Thor, The Dark World, 2013 Loki is eventually captured and realizing that his plan was a failure, he quietly settles for his punishment. Asgard is soon attacked by Malekith, and upon learning about the death of his mother, who he loved dearly, Loki starts his quest of revenge. At the same time Thor collects Aether, also known as Reality Stone, to get revenge. And although, Loki is known for betrayal, this movie proves that he's true to his loyalty for Asgard and his family. He may be narcissist and jealous, but he still has a deep love for the one who raised him. We also get to know about his thinking, that he is actually jealous of Thor's Midgard friendship. And we also got to see Thor and Loki fight alongside, which reminded everyone how well they work together. Loki sacrifices himself for the greater good. But by the end of the movie, it is revealed that he is alive, and that he disguised himself as Odin, ruling Asgard. Thor Ragnarok, 2017 Loki's rule is eventually stopped after Thor returns back to Asgard, and realizes that Loki sent their father to a retirement home. Eventually as they meet their father, Odin tells them about Hela, and says his goodbyes. After Odin passes away, their relationship changes. With no one's attention to fight for, Loki realizes that it's only him and his brother now, and that it might be the end for Asgard, now that Hela has returned. During their time in Sakaar, they both bond. Thor learns to adore his little tricks, and Loki learns to respect his brother. And with the final battle that eventually destroys Asgard, all the Asgardians, alongside Loki and Thor, plan to move to Earth. But they are stopped by a bigger ship. Avengers Infinity War, 2018 Infinity War opens with Thanos destroying half the Asgardians in the ship, and asking for the Tesseract. Until the very last moment, it feels like Loki will betray them again, but he tries to trick Thanos and pits him against Hulk. Thanos defeats Hulk, and asks for the Tesseract for the last time. Loki tries to trick him again, but Thanos takes the Tesseract from him, and kills him saying, no resurrections this time. This is the end of Loki Prime. But Endgame introduces us to a variant of Loki. In their quest to get back all the Infinity Stone and the Time Heist, the Avengers accidentally mess up the plan, and the Loki from the past takes the Tesseract and runs away. The same variant of Loki is taken by a mysterious organization called the Time Variance Authority, and asks Loki to help them fix the broken timelines. And this is where the show will pick up from. That's it for this video, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more. Thanks for watching.